Hey Russ, we're here to see your gym and fridge. What's up, men's hell? Russell Dickinson here. Welcome to the crib. Come on in. What are some staples you always have in your fridge? Ooh, staples of my fridge are always almond milk. Gotta have almond milk for the smoothies. We always have a great assortment of cheese because we host, We this is the party house. Everybody comes here to hang out. Another thing with always hosting is you always have to have citrus no matter what. You got the limes for the margaritas, the lemons for the martinis, for the classy folk. And then another staple, is eggs. 12 eggs a day keeps Arnold Schwarzenegger away, is what I always say. Hasta la vista, baby. What do you have for breakfast? So for breakfast, it really differs, honestly. Like there's sometimes I wake up, don't really have anything pre-workout. Sometimes I'll just have a Celsius pre-workout. But usually, a little thing called grab the gold. We got 11 grams of protein, 18 carbs. So this little, this little nugget right here, perfect pre-workout. Just a little something to keep you going and uh, always a beautiful cup of java. What would we never see in your fridge? All right, what you would never find in my fridge, if it was just my fridge, is cucumber. But I have a wife and I have a family. And so here's, there's, there's your cucumber right there. Do you cook? I love cooking. My wife and I love cooking uh, because we're on the road a lot and that's just like, it's either catering or restaurants. And you know, trying to find a good home cooked meal is rare on the road. So when we get home, we stay home, we cook at home. Breakfast, I love to make a nice scramble, some sweet potato hash. Uh, for lunch, we love this place called Kava. And so we kind of made our own little Kava bar so, that, so we don't have to Uber Eats or drive in every single time. So it's kind of a Mediterranean Chipotle vibe. And so we've got our chicken, pickled red onion, corn, some Tuscan kale, chop that up, put that in there. Avocado, throw that in there. And uh, that's usually our lunch. And then for dinner, <laughs> get you a big ol' boneless beef ribeye steak right there. We throw this in the sous vide, salt and pepper for an hour at 129 degrees precisely. Then you take a cast iron skillet, both sides, oh, mommy. Do you eat healthy on the road? Eating healthy on the road is one of the biggest struggles in the entire world. The inconsistency is insane. You're in airports, airplanes, cars, buses, you name it, we're there, we're traveling. In country music, we're playing fairs, we're, I mean, we're, we're out there. And so everybody, everywhere we go, will say, we got the best daggone barbecue you've ever had. So day after day, it's pulled pork, ribs, brisket, mac and cheese, potatoes, all that stuff. But these right here, these mega fit meals come frozen and I keep these frozen on my bus so that all I gotta do is pop one open, pop it in the microwave, and uh, I love these things. I eat these at home, I eat these on the road. Do you take protein supplements? I do supplement protein. I do, I do a bunch of different kinds. I've got, I've got these, these plant proteins. And then the other protein I do is vital proteins, collagen protein. This can go in anything. You can put it in a juice, you can put it in whatever you want. I usually put it in my smoothie, two scoops. What do you eat if you're hungry at 2 a.m.? I'm probably gonna go for this big old bag of chicken nuggets right here and a big old thing of Chick-fil-A sauce. That's gonna be my 2 a.m. cheat meal right there. All right, y'all, that's it for the fridge. Let's go check out the gym. All right, Russ, let's see where you work out. All right, y'all, welcome to my home gym. Well, technically, at my house, we have two gyms. There's the workout room, and then there's Mother Nature. What's your favorite exercise? I got a new favorite exercise, and it's kind of a, a total body. I love efficiency, especially now with having a baby. You gotta be quick. You got, I probably got maybe 20, 25 to 30 minutes uh, to get my workout in, get it done. Uh, so it's a lot of high intensity, full body stuff, and uh, I'll show you that one. Crush more, baby. <sighs> Welcome to gym number two, baby. The great outdoors. Woo! 
This is my favorite gym. So we got a little dumbbell circuit, some jump rope, some slams, and we got a special surprise for you at the end. What are your fitness goals? I'd say my fitness goals are probably a long, healthy life, but also to be shredded, as we talked about earlier, and uh, just to be in a good state to put on the absolute best concert of everyone's life every single night. Woo! How do you keep your mind fit? You know, I think to keep my mind fit, a little meditation, a little scripture every day, really just focusing on positivity, focusing on the, all the good things in life, not letting the negativity of this world or the news or anything get you down. Keeping God at the center, honestly, that's the, that's the main thing right there. What music do you listen to when you work out? Music-wise, if I'm out on a trail run or something, I do no music because I love hearing the crickets, I love hearing all the different sounds of nature, you know? But if we're working out here at Mount Crushmore, turn up some hip hop, we ain't scared. Do you have any scars? I do have a couple scars. One right here is, uh, that's from snowboarding. Me and my boys were snowboarding and my buddy fell down in front of me and his board popped up and sliced my shin open. Do you have any tattoos? I don't have any tattoos yet, but I do think there is a, there's a mo very meaningful day, obviously the day my child was born on September 10th, 2020, is also the exact same day my last grandmother died. So that's a very sentimental day for me Obviously, my son being born and losing my last grandparent. So there's something in there that I think is going to make a great tattoo one day. All right, Russ, it's time for rapid fire questions. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m. workout? Ooh, 7 a.m. for sure. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Favorite song in your playlist? Ooh, right now, uh, Stay by Kid Leroy. Crossfit, yay or nay? Yay. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Dumbbells, baby. Run on a treadmill or the great outdoors? Great outdoors. Cardio or weights? Weights. Big legs or big arms? Big arms, for sure. So I can wear tight pants, you know what I'm saying? Which is the biggest compliment? Jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? I'd say ripped. Because ripped means you got some muscle definition in there, but you're ripped up enough that you can see them. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? I'd love to play basketball with Michael Jordan. Go through one of his workouts and then hit the court. Hmm. 